With everything that's going on, stress may be more prevalent in your home and may be affecting your children as well. Experts say sensory play is a great way to cope and regulate those emotions, connect with children, and help with brain development. And Monet Somerville from the Parenting Center joins us now to talk about the long-term benefits. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How does sensory good. play help regulate emotions? I can see the other two things, connecting, and but how does mm -hmm. it regulate emotions? So what happens is when infants are very young, parents essentially have to regulate their, their bodies, right? So we keep them warm, we feed them, we play with them, and all of those things develop into our parasympathetic nervous system to help calm us down when we're stressed hmm. or when we're upset. And so as the children get older, we can actually start teaching them to use d their different senses to actually calm down. So, you know, we have our basic five senses that we all learn about, you know, sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch. Um, however, there are two internal senses that a lot of parents don't know about. And these senses really can trigger tantrums or they can calm your child down. So thinking about the first one is what we call vestibular input. And vestibular is simply the um, change of the inner ear fluid in, in the brain. And what happens is if we see kids who spin or like to or like to roll around, they're getting vestibular input. Now, vestibular is a great input for some children, but if they get too much of it, they can actually lead to behavioral outbursts hours later. Why though? Okay, because my daughter does. She loves to spin around when she dances. Mm -hmm. So, I, mm -hmm. I mean, why does that lead to tantrums? Because that I might need to make her stop spinning now. <laughs> If it's an excessive amount, what what we've kind of figured out is that it just overstimulates the brain, okay. essentially is what happens. And then they have a hard time kind of regulating themselves later on. But parents also have, you know, when the body has one thing, there's also something else to kind of counteract it. Sure. So we have our other sense called proprioceptive. And that's like the deep pressure that we feel on our muscles. So like kids who like to cuddle, give bear hugs, used weighted blankets or weighted stuffed animals, those kind of things can help calm our brains and our whole entire system down. And it essentially what it does is it activates the parasympathetic nervous system to calm us. Um, huh. So if you get a whole bunch of vestibular, you wanna like, oh, well, let's, we did a whole bunch of swinging, let's stomp back to the car and get those big muscle groups m moving and, and engaged so that it does help calm the body. Okay. Well, let's go back to the external senses, the ones that we know. Mm -hmm. um, there's, you, you said to introduce sensory play to your kids, and you can use mm -hmm. household things around the house to do that. So give us some examples. Yeah. So one of the things that you can do are sensory bottles. Okay. So one of the things is like this one. Um, it's just a basic water bottle that I had around my house and just put some rice and beans in it. Okay. And you can shake it. And it essentially you know, it does help with proprioceptive a little bit because they have to use their muscles to do it. Also, it, it engages a sense of hearing and sight because you're watching the, the items move on the inside. Um, we also have sensory bags that can be filled with different things, anything that's not gonna poke through the bag, of course. Okay. So we, this one is just like raw corn oh, and um, oil. oil. And that's it. And it's a really nice sensory item for the sense of touch. Um, Jello is a great one for taste. And it's also a really different sensation than, that most kids don't normally get to, to experience. Um, and then what we call in toddler bunk class here is our sensory class. It's jump and spin. So doing different things where they have to engage the big muscles so they can jump, they can run, they can skip. Okay. Um, awesome. Learn about color. Yep. Well, we're out of time, but I really appreciate it. This is great stuff. And you can s introduce kids to sensory things as early as infants. So thank you very yes. much for your time. April?